Good afternoon, all of you awesome people. Uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with some more Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Going to be starting up my new Zero C Let's Play series today. Although I am using the experimental builds, not the uh, stable builds. If this is your first time watching one of my uh, Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead series, uh, Cataclysm is essentially a open world, well, free game for one, uh, open world zombie survival roguelike with an insane amount of depth to the gameplay, vehicle crafting, a deep mutation system, bionic system, uh, weapon crafting and upgrading, and so much insanity uh, in this game. So there is a lot to like. Now, uh, last time I had created a character and I was going to go with it and see if I could change it up and challenge it with a bit of a challenge, but actually I decided to do something a bit different. Uh, somebody else when I was uh, playing this live, made a pretty good suggestion with it when it came to uh, an interesting thing to do. I'm going to enable boats, classic zombies. You know what? Let's enable the animatronic monsters. Okay. I hope I don't get killed by, uh, was it Fozzie or any of those animatronic wankers? <laughs> but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take that as a risk. We'll take it as a risk. Mythological replicas, necromancy, vehicle additions pack. And this is going to be the, the main thing. Something that I've never done so far uh, with all the other series and all the other deaths that I did. I'm going to enable slow zombies. Obviously, this halves the speed of zombies and makes it, you know, this would obviously make the game quite a bit easier. But in order to counteract that, I usually I would, for a regular game, I would lower the spawn rate down to about 0.8, you know. Leave it either at 1 or bring it down to 0.8 just so I don't get so obliterated by uh, the zombies. But with this, now that we're cutting their speed in half, we're tripling the amount of zombies. So it's the three times zombies uh, with a slow factor to it, so it'll be interesting. Item spawn is going to stay the same. We're going to lower NPC spawn rate down to about 40%, and they will be enabled. Um, leaving everything else the same. Default regions, initial time is 8, which will be fine. Spring season lasts about 14 days. I'm not going to enable Wander Spawns or Classic Zombies. We will enable both of the NPCs. All right. Confirmed. Um, let's randomize that, see if we get a better name. McBride. West Medway. Sure, let's go with West Medway. That sounds like an interesting world name. I'm also going to crank the music up now. We're still going to go with the same kind of character that I had designed out last time. But we're going to change it up a bit with this. Let me crank it up a bit more with this new world type. All right, new game, custom character. That damn bug is still in the game. Hmm, I thought they would have fixed that by now. Oh, well, either way. So there's a whole bunch of different starts for anyone that's never seen this before that you can do uh, with the game. The really, there's a couple different challenge ones. The really bad day, you start off drunk to the point of incapacitation, depressed, infected, surrounded by fire, naked, and sick with the flu. And not only that, you typically spawn in the middle of town, which is covered in zombies, and usually surrounded by them. So it's incredibly difficult. The lab, you get locked in a lab, abandoned, you're locked in a hospital, and you have to get out. Infected, sheltered, these are all pretty basic ones, but we're going to go with wilderness, which is... Uh, a pretty nice one. It starts you out in the wild. So it's a little bit more... <laughs> yeah, it's going to kick your butt a lot less. So we have a lot of options with this. Survivor, Lumberjack, uh, bow hunter, Fisher, Survivalist Junior, Survivalist, and then finally Naturalist. Now, the Naturalist costs six points, but it starts you out with pretty much a whole range of skills, uh, and as well as equipment. And that's one I really want to try with this. Go with the Naturalist. It's a bit overpowered, almost, of a class, because it does start out with, you know everything pretty much everything you need to survive out in the woods but there's a lot of extra bits and bobs we're gonna want so yeah addictive personality so that he's easier more easily becomes addicted to substances and harder to get rid of yourself from addictions flimsy so I'm gonna lower my overall body's health by 25% forgetful you have a hard time remembering things your skills will erode slightly faster now when it comes to skills I cap my skills uh, you can actually have different versions of skill degradation. You can make it so that's intelligence uh, based. So the higher your intellect, the less it uh, the less it degrades, or the slower it degrades. 
Uh, capped, essentially, once I gain a level, I have that level and it will not go under it. If I'm halfway through a level, that will degrade down, but that's it. Glass Jaw, I'm going to skip that if I can. I may have to get it, though. Heavy Sleeper. So when I sleep, I'm out cold. Insomniac, it's hard for me to fall asleep. Lightweight. Alcohol and drugs go straight to your head. You suffer the negative effects for longer. Mood Swings can be a good way to get a point if you need one, but I'm not going to go get it. Poor Hearing. So we can't hear it nearly as well. Strong scent, trigger happy, truth teller, and ugly. So animals can detect our scent, or things that track us by scent will do so more easily. Trigger happy every now and then. If you have a gun that has full auto capabilities, you will go full auto and spray bullets everywhere. Truth teller and ugly are just NPC interactions, which, eh, they can be a bit negative, but that's okay. To counteract strong scent, I'm going to get animal empathy. So animals are less aggressive towards me. I'm going to use points on fast learner and reader, which I may actually change depending. I may actually get rid of Fast Learner. Mm. I want to get Night Vision, so I'll spend a point on that. It increases the range I can see at night. And Psychopath. If I'm forced to kill others, kill NPCs, I won't feel the negative effects nearly as much. So now, the most important part, your base stats. You want to get at least, if you can, you want to get at least all of these to 12. Obviously, I don't have enough points, so... Let's go ahead and let's get glass jaw. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so everything at 12. Now I'd like to get more if possible. Hmm. I really don't want to get rid of fast learner. Just because it means I had to make a lot more stuff if I want to level up my skills. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I mean, fast learner is too important for, especially if you're going to live out in the wild, uh, to give up. Junk food intolerance. You know what? Yeah, let's, well, it's only one point though. You know, let's get junk food and lactose intolerance. So I'm gonna have to stick away from, stay away from junk food and uh, and milk. That'll give me an extra two points, which I want to spend to bring my strength up to the max. So once you get to level 14 with any of the base traits here, with any of the base stats, uh, it costs two more points from then on to upgrade it further. So I will raise my intellect my intelligence up one more. This will help me with installing bionics, interacting with NPCs, crafting, and other such things. So, these stats are your most important thing that you have, your trait, or your stat, yeah, your stats. Traits, secondary. Profession is obviously fairly important if you want to get for your starting equipment. And then skills, if you had a couple extra points after you've gotten more than enough stats, and you can put it into various things, like fabrication and such, or melee, whatever it happened to be. Anyway, that should be good. So, you know what? Let's name this after Sir Twiggy. Sir Twiggy is a fabulous streamer on Twitch. Definitely do check him out if you get the chance. And uh, let's see how long Sir Twiggy can survive. Now, I can. This is actually a total just showing all the things we have, all the stats are we made. If I want to hit uh, exclamation mark, so shift one, I'd be able to set up a template, so S1. Now, anytime that if this character dies that I want to reload, like, redo the same template, I don't have to remake it all over again. I just have to load a preset, and it's done. Alright, so I can choose male or female. Obviously, I want to go male, for Sir Twiggy is, with his fabulous beard. Alright, are I finished? I are, I are finished, yes, I are finished. Okay, so with the wilderness start, we do start out in the middle of nowhere. There's a cave nearby. You might, you might see about living in that cave. There's a toxic waste dump to the south of me. If I wanted to do any, get any mutations, that would be a good place to hang out. I would gain uh, mutations via radiation because of that. But, yeah, no. This isn't a mutation character if I can help it right now. Because I, otherwise I would get a robust genetics trait, which would give you a greater, I think a one-third better chance uh, to get positive mutations rather than negative ones. So we're going to hit Shift-C and talk to this guy. Uh, well, I guess it's just us. Is there anything I can do for you? So you can get quests from NPCs, you can get them to join you, you can trade with them. I just have one job for you. Would you like to hear about it? Tell me about it. 
Uh, I've lost so many friends. Please find a patient list from a near regional hospital or doctor's office. I just want to know who might still be out there. I'll do it. Now, the good thing is when you ask them to do this, you can ask them for, or after you get a mission from them, you can ask them for equipment or you can do it beforehand. But if you do, if you get a mission from them first, you're pretty much guaranteed to get an item. It's like, I'm helping, I'm helping you out. And he gave me, ooh, he gave me Winchester Magnum rounds. Thank you. Any advice? I bet you'll run into a lot of those things in the hospital. Please be careful. Sounds good. I don't have any more jobs for you. Okay, so let's look at him. So he's, yeah, he's actually carrying a Winchester. So if he dies, then I can pick up that Winchester and use it. He also has a military rucksack and some other good stuff. So I almost want to kill him just so I could take that stuff. But even though I have the psychopath trait, if I can avoid it, I don't want to kill him. So let's ask him if he wants to travel with us. And now we have a certain percent. <coughs> Pardon me. Ah, oh, excuse me. Different percentage chances, depending on the responses, uh, of what can work out with this. Like, you can keep me safe is the best one now, the 43% 40, chance. And uh, we're friends, and intimidate gives zero, and uh, I can keep you safe. Obviously, I'm pretty damn weak. Isn't going to be very successful. So let's see if I can persuade him to keep me safe. You got it. I'm with you. Awesome. So he's with me. Uh, so he can now, uh, this is actually one of the good best things. This is a little bit more refined now. Now you really got to be careful with your NPCs and with other NPCs. They can and will steal from you. If you're dragging around a cart, if you throw a bunch of stuff on the ground or in the back of a vehicle, they are maybe not in the back of a vehicle. I have not seen them attempt to steal stuff out of my vehicle yet. At least my guys I have not seen. Uh, but they will walk up to it, even your own guys, if you have a bunch of stuff on the ground, they will walk up to it and try and take stuff. So you gotta be careful. If you tell them to guard and then follow you, they, it's a little bit, they uh, may not take anything. They'll just stand there, they won't actually take any of your stuff. You don't need to feed them or anything like that, so it's, that'd be nice down the road. I would love to see that down the road. But right now, they don't need to be really micromanaged too much. You can change their combat commands, which I probably will for the moment. Engagement rules, do not fight unless your life depends on it. No, I'd rather have attack enemies that get too close. Alright, that's good enough. Let's go. You can also get him to teach you some skills if he's uh, friendly enough with you. And actually, you know what? Let's talk to him for a second. I... Hmm... Let's trade items. Damn. Damn. Because I wanted to trade him back his Winchester rounds if he would uh, trade me something of good value. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Now, the, most of the town that I can see right now is all housing. Housing will have some good stuff, but it might just be junk. <laughs> I'm currently... I have a short bow. It's not bad. It's not the best bow in the world. But it's not horrible. I have everything I need to survive out in the wild, pretty much. Stone pot, stone knife. I can easily make food and such. I won't be able to preserve it too well. Unless I make maybe... What is that? What is the... Let me check food here for a second. Meat. I want to see what the requirement for aspic is. I think it was. Huh. I must not have a high enough cooking skill for it or something. Unless it's an other. Flour, cornmeal. You can see there's a there's an absolute ton of recipes. There really is. Hmm. S'mores, nachos, which I won't be able to eat because it's junk food. But be careful about that. Alright, so I want to find somewhere more interesting to loot if I can. These seem like they'd be too populated. Well, at least I can take a look at it. Let me Z up so I can see further. Although now we can barely see the characters. At least I'll be able to see further. Oh, and let me disable my safe mode, which is automatically turned on. Ooh, we have some interesting stuff here. Looks like we have a truck, a car, and a ambulance. Might be able to get a first aid kit in that. Alright, we do have a zombie. What do we have in here? Ooh, a dive bag! Nice, I'll take that. Unfortunately, there's also a couple of zombies. Let me wear that. Now, if I hit Shift 2, 
we will bring up my uh, screen, my, well, stat screen, which will also show my encumberment. Now, right now, my torso is quite heavily encumbered, so I would not want to engage anything in melee. Bon Appetit, we found a magazine, or a magazine, a skill book, which we'll be able to read to increase our skills. Shift V, found some Tramadol, a painkiller used to manage moderate pain. They last for several hours, but, uh... A relatively subdued for an opioid. I'll take that. It's really gets a mild painkiller. Oh crap. Alright, buddy. Time for you to earn your pay. Even though I'm not paying you. Like anything. Come at me, Zombro. Luckily this guy has a Winchester rounds. I might even just give him. Oh Jesus. He's attacking him for some reason. Instead of he's probably out of rounds now. Yeah, no. I'm gonna give you back your rounds. So tab A. There you go, buddy. At least we've got shelter. So we got a circular saw here. Zombie. The other zombie drops some stuff. Now, zombies will get back up. If you do not, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to attack them. I just want them out of my way. If you do not butcher them or smash up the corpses, they will get back up. Cargo pants are a really good item to store, uh, it gives you some minor storage. Oh, there's a gun safe in here. I need a lock pick to attempt to open it, which I think I can actually make. Let me smash this, grab the pipe, shift seven, find improvised lock pick. I need an item with hammering of one or greater. Oh, Jesus. Okay, luckily. Again, that's why I gave him back his ammunition, because he was able to help me out. I may even see if I can make him a basic bow. Uh, Rock has a hammering of one, and oh geez, there's a screamer here. I'm going to take her out myself so he doesn't waste any ammunition. Okay. Damn screamer. So she's probably awakened half the neighborhood now. Alright. So, now I can make both a makeshift crowbar from the pipe which I can use to bust open some windows and doors without actually smashing them like I've been doing recently. And improvise lockpick times two. Try and pick the gun safe. The gun safe stumps your efforts to pick it. Let's try it again. Your clumsy attempts jam the lock. Damn it, it's firmly sealed. Oh well, it was, I, it, I tried, I tried. Ooh, folded poncho, I'll take that. I can possibly use that to keep myself warm. Now, warmth is definitely something you need to take, uh, be cautious of. You don't want to get too cold. So you, especially during winter, obviously, you need to layer a lot of clothing items. Hmm. Now, we did just find a pot, and I do have a stone pot, which is something that my character starts off with. So you don't have to actually go for it. The pot is a little bit better than the stone pot, though, both for, well, for the main reason that it does the same job, and it actually weighs a lot less, so you don't have to carry... Uh, waste a lot of carry capacity. Found some maple syrup, some dark cola. Excuse me, buddy. Let me get by you. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, what is that actually? Oh, wow. Well, it's milk, so obviously I'm lactose intolerant. So I can't make use of this milk. But I will at least take the gallon jug. Okay, we got a crawling zombie here. I'll take him out with my bow. A leather belt. I'll actually wear that. Butcher him. Let's take a look in the back of this vehicle. And actually, see how the vehicle is running. It has no fuel tanks or battery. Wait. Yeah, no, again, it has no engine or battery. Uh, holy crap. Are, like, we missing all the... No, that seems... It has enough wheels. Huh. Interesting. For some reason, I'm not able to see the amount of battery power in the vehicles. That might have actually changed. That or it's a bug in the current build that I'm using. Okay, let's apply my makeshift crowbar. Oh, we got a couple of zombies. Let him take care of that one. Or I'll shoot him myself a couple times. There we go. He's got he's taken care of. He's got some sandals, some sneakers, butcher him. Oh, zombie dog on the way. Pew! 
No, I don't want the zombie dog corpse. Butcher the zombie dog. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. That is not good. Fire. Now, zombies that are going through a window or over a fence will be slowed, so it's a perfect time to engage them. Oh, crap. I do not want to be in between the zombie and my guy, like that. Oh, damn. Uh-oh, out of ammunition. No! Must have stunned him somehow. Oh yeah, they're also slowed, so that's probably why. God damn, Fat Zombie is... ridiculously durable, it seems. Okay, three fletched arrows. Two fletched arrows. Alright. Got him. Now these guys are slower, but because I am... I'm just gonna smash these ones. Now if you're... If you're dealing with a lot of bodies on the same tile... It's best just to smash them. Now right there, that is a spitter coming over here. I better go over to him and kill him, actually. I'd rather not have him. Damaging. Ooh, quick to grab those. Ooh, a hammer! take that before he destroys it with his acid. So yeah, these guys have a lot of, uh, well he spits acid obviously, as you could see there. So they are fairly dangerous because of that. Ooh! Oh, wait, never mind. For a second I thought they destroyed the fridge. Got some yogurt. Ooh, Sloppy Joe's. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> uh, no, we're not going to take spam. We are not going to take spam. Need some cheeseburgers. Uh, nope, I didn't think so. Now, if you're smashing a body, it actually damages whatever you have equipped at the time. Let me equip this hammer. Like, if I was using my bow to smash up a body, it, like, it, when you smash something, it uses what you have equipped. Now, smashing the fridge, I get a rubber hose. I can use that to siphon fuel and other such lovely things from vehicles. Oh, we got a graboid. Also, I see there's gas around here. That likely means that there is a... God, what is the hell that... What the hell they call it? Bloated zombie on the other side of the wall. I do not want to mess with bloated zombie if I can help it. Well, they're not too difficult. It's just more that if I... I'd have to get close enough to them and they like to explode into, well, noxious fumes. Alright, so this looks like a... Probably a bar basement. If I go up here, I should find... Yep. Oh, jeez. That's a fireman zombie. There we go. I attacked him twice. There we go. I'll smack him once, and then run away. This way I can quickly do some damage to him, without risking my life. Oh, he did nail me in the torso that time, though. Got him. Alright, butcher him. Now these guys usually have some really good stuff on them. Uh, PPA mask, looks like we've got a helmet, a uh, decent cash card. Mm, I'll take the mask. I might be able to use that at some point. Energy drink, grape drink, chocolate drink, lemonade. Okay, looks like I'm starting to have more stuff than I can carry at this point in time. Drink the chocolate drink then. Oh, wait. Yes, it's chocolate. I forgot. Your stomach won't like that. At least it's warning me. Now, the rest of this will be alcohol. Yeah, it's all vodka and stuff like that, so yeah, screwdrivers. Now, these alcohol isn't too bad because it works as a painkiller, as well as it, you know, makes your guy feel happy that he's drinking something. So, yeah. 
There are advantages to drinking. Oh, crap. There are a lot of dead over there. Also, what the heck happened? Something tore down those walls. Fairly aggressively. So we got zombie soldiers nearby. What is this? Time magazine. Uh, an umbrella. Ooh, raincoat and rain hood. I think I'll take those quickly. Sure, I'll put it on even though it's gonna weigh me down. Like, excessively. No. If I accidentally hit this guy, more than likely I'm gonna take a, a Winchester round of the face. Ow. No. That is a zombie skeleton. I hate zombie skeletons with a passion. An absolute freaking passion. They are ridiculously evil. Don't even care there's a zombie uh, approaching me. I have to kill it. Uh, zombie skeletons, essentially, they're not, like, super strong, but they... Let me drop one of these lockpicks, actually. They're very hard to hit for anyone that has any kind of encumberment. Flashlight, S. Let me actually go inventory. I want to change that to Q. So I'm selecting an item, so like, say, my crowbar here. Hitting the equals, or plus key. And then the key I wish to put to assign to it, so A. I usually like to keep my crowbar on A and my flashlight on Q. That way I can just activate it. Let's look around here. Chemistry textbook, super glue, glue the home brewer's bible. So if I wanted, if I wasn't a lightweight and wanted to brew alcohol, I could do so with the home brewer's bible. Okay, butcher him, butcher him. Uh, you get tainted bone and tainted meat and sometimes tainted t uh, tallow from zombies. You can use this with various recipes. Oh geez, let's get out of here, homie. You seem slowed. Now, I'm seeing one of my most hated enemies nearby. Oh yeah, there's a lot of zombies over there. To hell with that. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh. My friend here is getting his butt kicked a bit. Let's see if I can beat this zombie with the uh, hammer I've got. So I need to get a better... If I'm going to do any kind of melee we uh, meleeing like I'm doing right now, I need to get a much better melee weapon. Now, my guy is pretty damn slowed, it seems. My pal, I should say. Not my guy. That'd be my character. Sunlight's glare makes it hard to see. Yeah, he's way too slow right now. He's going to be compromising me. So let's go ahead and... Let's talk to him. Not yet. Guard this position. Not a bloody chance. Then I'm gonna let you die. I try. I gave him a chance to, to guard this position and, well, I would have taken him with me, but I'm gonna let him die now. And I'm gonna take his backpack. There we go. He's dead. So I lost his quest though, which kind of sucks, but you know what? He has a Winchester, which I'll take. I'll take his riot helmet and backpack. I'm a, I'll admit, I was a bit of a bastard for letting him die like that, but you know what? Shit happens. <laughs> if he'd been able to keep up with me if he hadn't gotten hurt, then I would have kept him, I would have let him keep up with me and would have helped him out. We just found, oh god, smoker zombie. I hate smoker zombie. We did find though, actually no, there's nothing here I want. Uh, I'm assuming these are, yeah, it's a scientist, a bunch of scientist corpses. Sadly, though, they didn't have a science ID card, so I won't be able to get inside a science lab. Smoker zombie is still following me, I think. I dislike smoker zombies. They, yeah, he's still following me. I'll be out of his range here soon, though. They, just like the skeletons, they're not really made of too much flesh, so they're really, really hard to hit for ranged attacks, which is like all I have right now is ranged attacks. Zombie Necromancer, which buffs... Oh no! Oh crap! That's a worm. That's a giant worm. Oh frickin' he attacked me. Oh shit, he's faster than me. Giant worm is faster than me. Ooh, now we found a mansion here. I like mansions. They're good places to find books. Also, we might find a car on the road here. Let's take a look. Nope. Now, here we go. A giant wasp is fighting a giant bee somewhere to my southwest. Ooh, hello, advanced solar car. 
Please tell me you're intact and sexy looking. Uh, it, damn it, it does have a security system. Crap. I don't think, if the keys aren't in here, then I won't be able to drive it. Yes, it starts up. Woohoo! Unfortunately, the solar car does not appear to have very much in the way of battery power right now. Alright, stop driving. We'll have to come back later. I'm assuming most of the solar cells are probably... Oh no, there's actually quite a few of them. Uh, it probably just needs to be charged up. Okay, I'm definitely thinking that's either a bug or they added a new... A new thing to vehicles where you have to have a gauge to show you how much energy is in your vehicle. Which would really suck, actually. Ooh, found a clothing store and a gas station. Oh, crap, and a whole lot of zombies. Unsurprisingly. What the heck do we have here? A bunch of tough zombies are apparently getting messed. Oh, jeez. They pissed off a moose. That would be why. That would be why. There's also a zombie brute down there. The moose just got killed. Oh, damn. What do we have here? Apartment tower, a pharmacy, a couple other things. A whole lot of zombie. Bloody hell, that's a whole lot of zombie. What do we got here? Gallon jug of vinegar. Ooh, a sewing kit. I'll take that. If I can. Sewing kits are quite nice. Is there anything else I wanted here? Towel? No, thank you. A uh, pair of winter boots. Self-esteem for dummies. No, it's not a very useful book. And... Sucker. Got some alcohol. Which I'm not really all that... Woohoo about. Not something I really need. A spiral stone. Again, not something I really need. Ooh, we got a gun store. Um, unfortunately, though, there's about a million zombies between me and the gun store. And in order to get inside, I would likely need to use a vehicle to ram it open because there's nothing else I have that could... Oh, damn, spitter zombie. Oh, jeez. Lax wheels. Lax wheels. And I can't even seem to check if they have enough gas. Which really sucks. There's a lot of zombie dogs to my northeast here. I'm gonna pass some turns here. Let them converge on this vehicle. So they can get stuck on it and I can run up ahead here. And see what this uh, RV has. Security system is destroyed. It has enough wheels, but its battery is destroyed. Damn it. That is unfortunate. Okay, let's see if I can uh, lose these suckers in the building here. Ooh, we actually have it downstairs. Let's check this quickly and then get out of here. Ooh, heavy duty cable. We've got an RC controller. Extra battery mod is really useful. Advanced. Ooh, screwdriver. Yes, I want the screwdriver. RC controller can be used to, well, control remote control vehicles. PDA, soldering iron I will take. Actually, I'll take the welding goggles as well. Extra battery mod, definitely. It's a good thing that the enemies outside are pretty much frozen right now. They won't be advancing and getting anywhere they can kill me. Chemistry lab, I'd like to take you with me, but you're too heavy right now. I've got to prioritize. I'm in a little bit of pain. It's not because of my carry capacity has been exceeded, so that's alright. Ten gallon hat. Build my bow. Shoot him a couple times. Take my arrows. Uh, ooh, we found some aspirin. So I'll kill him to get at the aspirin. Now, because of all the stuff I'm wearing, I'm actually getting... My speed has lowered. So the more my speed lowers, the quicker or the more easily these zombies are going to catch me. No. It's alright, we're good for now. Glamopolitan. There's a bunch of interesting stuff here. Cocaine, no thank you. No thank you. Now, the one thing I will take out of all this is the wristwatch. And I'm gonna wear that. Now I'll be able to tell the time. So we went from... Oh jeez, please tell me you're intact and working. Ooh, it's, wor it's intact. Security system. Oh, the engine's destroyed. That is a shame. This is actually a steamroller. So I could, well, steamroll over anything if it was functional, which it is not, sadly. Sad face. Sad face. Okay, uh, I'm not liking what I'm seeing here. Damn it. 
Oh god, that is a zombie brute. Thank god he's at half speed though. If that zombie brute was not at half speed, he could catch me in a second, I'd be a dead man. Wouldn't even be a contest, I'd just be dead. Oh, my flashlight's still on. Whoopsies! Whoopsies! That's fine. Consume it anyway. Drink some fruit juice. Broccoli? Ooh, fresh broccoli. Oh, we actually have a bunch of seeds in here. So we found a... Gardener's house. That's awesome. Actually, wait, hold up. I don't really need... The barley. I'm not going to be making any uh, alcohol. So, barley and... Well, wheat seeds I could use. Oh, crap. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is bad. This is bad. There's a lot of things that can murder me right now coming my way. Oh, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of town desperately. That's another spitter. So, having the zombies slowed is definitely keeping me alive right now. Otherwise, I would have been dead a dozen times over. If they were at their normal speed, I would have easily been killed by now. Easily, easily been killed. The engine's destroyed. It's useless to me. I need to get some better weapons. Another clothing store. Oh, hey. Sweet. There's a lot of these new houses that have been added in, it seems. What do we got around here? Oh, sporting goods store. I need to loot that. That has to be looted by me. Sporting goods stores have amazing loot. Damn it. Unfortunately, it had to be full of these guys. That just blows. But there's nothing I can do about that. Absolutely nothing I can do about that. I need to get the best stuff and get out of here ASAP. There's a lot of books I want. Archery for kids. I don't need that. Lessons for a novice bow hunter. Again, don't need that. Uh, I don't really need the canteens because I can make stuff out in the... I was kind of hoping there would be a... Uh, a better bow in here. Because there sometimes is. But I can't risk going to the back to find uh, anything else here. So let's see if we can... Well, let's look around a bit. See what else we can find. Police station, another clothing store, electronics store. There's an office. I was kind of hoping that was a... Uh, oh, God. More zombies. Zombies everywhere. Ooh. One of those. There's nothing to pry. So I cannot pry that open. see what we got in here. I don't think my character has any hacking skills right now, so he would not be able to make his way into that room. Oh crap, shocker brute. Okay, this is going to be very difficult to get out of here alive. I am surrounded by zombies. This is going to be one hell of a move here if I get out of this. That's a shocker zombie, just like the bigger version of him that we just saw. Uh, he will shoot lightning bolts out of my face. <laughs> uh, so we do have another... No, it's a hardware store, actually, which is really nice. I do want to see if I can get that. We just found a military crash site here. Army helmet, helmet liner, banjo, which is new. They've added uh, musical instruments in recently. I'm not sure too much on the effects of them, but... Uh, oh, jeez. Smoker zombie. Let's juke around this corner here. Another zombie hulk. Oh, I just got shocked. Oh, damn. They don't like me. They really, really don't like me. Zombie hulks are, yeah, very, very, very tough. They would... If one of them gets close enough to me, he will backhand me across an area. I'll just be, like, in the stratosphere. Um, Let's give it a shot. Doesn't have an engine. Ooh, nice. We found a charcoal smoker, which is a really good find. Um, gasoline. Darn. Ooh, there's smoked meat. I'll take that as well because smoked meat is pretty much what I want to make with the with the charcoal smoker. Fillet of fish. I guess I'll take that as well. 
Alright, let's head inside here, see if I can ditch some of these guys, and also... I need... There's only one other thing I really need in order to use the charcoal smoker. And that is a uh, aluminum tongs, and I just need the skill to do it. God dang it, there had to be this many of them. Okay, I'm clearly not going to be getting any of the stuff in here. Oh, it's too bad too, some of it looks good. Alright, let's get out of here. I need to get far away before they shock me anymore, because that's just, every time they shock me, it's going to slow me down. Let's see, and the aluminum tongs, charcoal smoker, aluminum can. Oh, there's two, yeah, two pairs of aluminum tongs, hell yes! Alright, shift V, let me turn off the filter now, so we don't keep filtering that constantly. And, let's see, is that a library? That is a library, so I'm going to grab some books from the library, then I'm out of here. That is it, I am gone. Okay. What is a transistor? I don't know what, let me just grab what I can. Even though I'm pretty sure I don't need that. Building for beginners. Computer science. Pitching a tent. Cooking on a budget. Big book first aid. Let me see if I can drop anything. Drop the poncho. Um, no, I need the fire drill because I don't have anything else. Drop the burgers. I got the other book, so it's okay for now. There's a lot of these guys coming, though. Short stories, car buyer's guide, close fighters. No, no, no. Augment of tech review. I'll take that. Gun owner's handbook. Let me apply that one. I'm pretty sure it's useless to me. Marksmanship skill to three. Oh no, I can use that. In that case, drop the riot helmet. Oh jeez! Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Oh, I about had a heart attack there for a second. Oh, man. Thank God they're that slow right now. Woo! Running far, far away now. Car's engine fails to start. There was a lighter in the trunk, or in the seat at least. How about you? Again, I can't see the condition of the gasoline, which is awkward. Nope. It must... The engine fails to start, so for one reason or another... Put away weapon. Another survivor! We should travel together. Well, let me ask what she's doing. I am watching the world... I am just watching the world burn. Uh, you can keep me safe. 75 or 78% chance. Yeah, I don't think so. Ah, Would you like to trade? She has a Molotov cocktail and she wants to watch the world burn. That makes sense now. <laughs> She's definitely assisting with the world burning. Got a jack. Ooh. They actually have a small warehouse here. Is that freaking zombie hulk still following me? Well, it looks like she's going to keep the zombie hulk busy. Now, this is pretty good. We do have, have found a small warehouse, which even seems to have a truck, which I hope is a functional truck. Security system is damaged. Take that, butcher the zombie. Nice! Let's see if I can close that. Cannot close the window. Cannot close the window. I didn't think so. Alright. In that case, let me kill the hazmat zombie outside. There we go. Unfortunately, all my ammo is now gone. So that's not good. Let's see if we have anything in here. The last time, the last several times, actually I should say, that I've been in these small warehouses, uh, there has been absolutely zero items in the warehouse. Like, it's a freaking warehouse full of empty boxes. Like, what the hell, eh? Who the hell would have a warehouse full of nothing 
but gigantic empty boxes. I mean, that's just... That's just an... For lack of a better word, that is a dick move. <laughs> Come on, man. Give me my loot, man. Quit holding out on me, man. Okay. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bug that I cannot see uh, the... What the hell? The fuel that this vehicle has or the amount of energy it has. It seems to be functional. It has some gas. I don't know how much gas. I can't check any vehicles to see how much gas they have. The only way for me to check would be to try and drain it, essentially. But the major issue is going to be power. Uh, because, well, I'll upgrade to the newest version when I when I get the chance. I'll mention this to one of the one of the devs and see if he can take a look at it and see what's up. Alright, so I think we're actually going to stick around here for a little while. Let me activate. I'm going to activate my shelter kit. And let's activate the roll fur roll mat. We'll put that down in there. So we have a nice little shelter inside our shelter. Shift 8. Let's deconstruct this guy. So we'll get the most out of it for deconstructing it rather than smashing it. Uh, I do want to make use of this room, so we're going to go shift 8. And I want to board up the windows. This will keep any enemies from attacking us. I'll actually leave this one open. Just because I want to be able to see out of it. I'd like to be able to add a curtain to it. Hmm... Too bad I didn't bring a sheet with me. I might have been able to add it to the window. Oh, well. What can you do? So it was nice finding this little warehouse here. So we're right next to a river so we can get an infinite source of water. Uh, we can kick back, relax for a while, read these books. We sit on the seat here and start reading a bit. Just to get a basic idea what these are. Brings my survival skill to three. Let me, let me use shift R just so it's quicker to read these books. Contains 46 recipes. Can bring my cooking skill to level 8. Requires a cooking skill of 5 and an intellect of 12 to start reading it. This one can bring my cooking skill to 4. Not quite good enough, but if I... How about Bon Appetit? Brings my cooking skill to 1. Yeah, that's not going to be even remotely useful to me, so let me drop that on the ground. Not my Winchester. Although, technically, the Winchester is useless to me too right now, because I don't have any ammunition for it. Uh, let's drink the fruit juice. Filet of fish. I should use E for this as well. Oh, no, we're good then. Okay. And I guess that cranberry juice isn't good for me. Oh, well, what can you do? Um, Shift R. Building for beginners. Brings my construction skill to three. Very useful. And it gives me a mechanical pump, which is uh, allows me to pull up water from the ground, if I'm not mistaken. Bring my computer skill to three, which is important. What is a transistor? Brings my electronics to three. So we found some pretty decent books, which is good. 101 crafts for beginners is going to be useless to me for the most part, other than learning some uh, some things I can, items I can craft, that's about it. Now, let me double check something here. I do have the charcoal smoker. I have the aluminum tongs. Now, let's see if I can make smoked, I can make smoked meat. Nice. Sweetness. So, this is incredibly easy to make. And it's pretty much the main, this is going to be my only and probably main source of food. Uh, so yeah, sweetness, sweetness, sweetness. Let's go back out here for now. I need to craft myself some additional ammunition. Also, let's drop some of our junk off here. Drop the Winchester, I'm not going to be using it for a while. Uh, I'll put the 2x4s away. I'll be using those in a moment. Okay, the smoker, the lockpick, the fire... Well, I'll keep the fire drill for now. The hose, the funnel, the pot... Anything I'm not really going to be needing right now... Gets dropped on the ground. The books as well, I will put you on the ground for now. I'll make use of you later. Potato seeds, well, all the seeds especially. Right now. I'll also put the duct tape, the nails, and the extra battery mod, and this down too, in the same kind of place. So I'm separating them a little bit, but not by, not by any major amount. So, ammunition. 
heavy wooden arrow shaft. Yeah, we're going to try making some heavy wooden arrows, if possible. So I can make some fletching out of duct tape and a plastic bottle. Um, I'd like to see if I can get some feathers, though, but I'm not sure if I'd be able to get close enough to a turkey to get feathers or any other bird, to be honest. So, what else can I make it out of? Cardboard box. Plastic chunk. Hmm. Trying to think what I could get plastic chunks from. I might just have to use the duct tape. Alright. We'll do what I can. We'll do what I have to. We'll do what I have to. There we go. So we made 60... 60 heavy wooden arrow shafts. I'll use the plastic bottles. I can no longer see the crafts. So we gotta sleep now. Let's go inside our tent and sleep. Yes, I want to sleep. Thank you. I doubt it's gonna let me though. It's not tired enough to sleep yet. In which case, what I'm going to do is let me grab up the duct tape again. Grab these two by fours. I think I still have the fire drill. Damn, I can't make my way out this way. Although it may attract some zombies my way. Let's go outside for a second. We'll head a little bit north on the road. Drop two 2x4s. Two activate the fire drill on it. And we now have a nice fire out here. Let's read... Not read. Craft. There we go. Six, and there we go. That's 60 fletching. Let's take a look here. Ammunition. Unfletched heavy fire, yeah, heavy fire hardened arrow. It's very little damage, very little range, so I don't want to do that. What I want, let me go to arrows. Heavy fletched fire hardened arrow. I don't even think that's it, actually. Hmm. Darn. I might be toast, actually, when it comes to these. <laughs> uh, when crossbow bolt starts... I guess this is the best I can make right now. Let me see what we have for damage. So 6 damage is 10, 15. Those are for crossbow bolts. Flesh wooden arrow. That seems to be the best bet. So heavy wooden arrows don't appear. Like, I made the wrong one, but that's okay. We have tons and tons of wood, so that's alright. Wooden ballista bolt. Okay, I still need to make arrowheads, though. Components. Chunk of steel or scrap metal. Which I can easily get by doing this. Smash. And suddenly we have a ton of scrap metal. So I just smashed this vehicle to get the scrap metal. Alright, scrap metal. I think there is a heavy wooden arrow, but I'm not capable of... Uh, crafting it right now. I need to look up the find a recipe for it. Very thirsty. Let's drink some cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. No, I'm good. Alright, shift seven. Arrowhead. Four. So I guess I can use chunks of steel. There we go. Five, oh wait. Five, six. Now I have 70 fletching, I might as well make 70 arrowheads. Okay! Ha -ha. Let's drop the rest of this chunk of steel. The heavy wooden arrow shafts because I messed up like a derp. Derp. 
Five, six, oh, and seven. So I just need arrow shafts. Wooden arrow shaft. And there we go. Now I can go back in ammunition and I should be able to make Where is it? Am I blind? I am blind. Unsurprisingly. Fletched wooden arrow. Oh, I need thread as well. Oh yes. Derp. Derp 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 derp. So thread. Fairly easy to get. Let's take uh let's take his undershirt and boxers. Okay. Now I need to apply my stone knife, cut up an item. Cut up his boxers. Stone knife, cut up the other shirt. I didn't salvage any rags from both of them, from either of them, which is lame. Uh, let's take his clean suit then. I'm not sure if the clean suit is actually made of rags or not. Take this guy's t shirt, his jean jacket. Hopefully, we'll be good with those. Apply. Stone knife, cut up an item. Four plastic chunks out of that. Not what I wanted, but hey. Jean jackets, we salvage eight rags, good. That's probably all we need right now, but you know what? Let's finish them. Let's finish it up. And take oh no, we couldn't salvage anything out of that one. So, now is the long, boring part. I need to disassemble the rag. This takes an hour to disassemble a rag into thread. It is ridiculous. Okay, disassemble. So it's 1126. And then suddenly it's 1220. There we go. So I got 200 thread now. So I should be able to make fletched wooden arrows. Hell yes. 10 damage, 7 range, 3 armor piercing. Pretty damn decent weapons. Pretty damn decent. Heavy fletched field point arrows would do 3 armor penetration, so they're not that great. Heavy fletched fire hardens would have 2, so they're the best. It's kind of funny that this is the best one. But I think I need to have Bower's Buddy, or probably Fletcher's friend actually has the recipe for the heavy wooden arrow, I would assume. But anyway, one, two, ah, three, four. Oh, I only managed to do four before the uh, fire went out. Anyway, we're tired now, so let's go ahead and sleep. Nice! So we are doing pretty damn good so far. Pretty damn good indeed. Very hungry, very thirsty. Peanut butter and jam sandwich. Sloppy Joe's. Nice and happy from that. Alright. So I now have 70 fletched wooden arrows. Um, I do actually have a quiver too, and I haven't been using it, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna actually activate that quiver and store the field, the new arrows. I can store 20 of them in a small quiver. Nice. All right. So I guess we only have water in there. That's okay. I wanted to check that anyway. So. The next thing I would like to do is eventually I need to make smoked meat. In order to do that, I need to have charcoal to chuck in my charcoal smoker. And for that, I need a charcoal kiln. Now, damn. It looks like I need a hacksaw, a wrench, a welder of some kind, and then a bunch of metal items, which are pretty easy to get. But the big problem is going to be getting the other components to make this charcoal kiln. Damn. So I'm still going to have to make city runs or something. Okay. Let's see here. There's no fuel left to siphon. Need a hose to siphon. I left behind my hose. Now if there's a crack in there, then more than likely there is a bunch of scientist bodies nearby, so I'll probably go see if I can loot them, possibly get a science ID card. Siphon. Yeah, looks like we had some gas in here, even though it didn't show me any.
There we go. Took him out. Ooh, got some sinew and a stomach. I'll take the stomach. I'll make use of it later. Oh, they're up on the road, actually. Oh, wait, no, these are crackhead corpses. Or actually, it might be both. Crack pipe. Yeah, definitely a bunch of crackhead corpses. Pork sticks. Nope, no scientists. So, yep, they're just, as I said. <laughs> as I said. All right, let's see here. There's the gasoline tank. Now, with these trucks, there's usually a couple things that can be wrong with them. We can actually see that the most damaged item is the box. So, one of these... Actually, those aren't even boxes. Oh, it's in the center of the vehicle. Okay. So, there's a couple main components you want to check on a vehicle to see if it's decent enough to ride. One, of course, is that it has wheels, which it'll tell you. The next major components are the battery... The alternator and the engine if any of the if the engine is red if any of these are red They're gonna more than likely get destroyed very quickly, and you're not gonna be able to drive it The last would be the gasoline tanks if the gasoline tanks or anything other than like yellow I think is a bit safe now, but anything other than that it's gonna leak fuel like Constantly the moment it moves the moment you move that thing It's just gonna drain every ounce like you can have full fuel and be out of it within a couple of minutes So looks like the uh, looks like the zombie Hulk killed off our well miss I want to see the world burn it's too bad she didn't uh, join us we could have kept her alive but that's what happens bunch of zombies there now we're not finding any fuel there is a gas station we did pass somewhere it's quite a ways away though so we're obviously not gonna go back to it if we can help it. <laughs> if we can help it. Maybe later, maybe later. Now, vehicles make really good anti-zombie uh, weapons. You can easily ram them to uh, take care of them and whatnot, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have everything we need to get out of here right now, even, and just kind of do our thing. But I'm going to call this here for now. Let me pause the tunes. And the background tune should be down in the description below as well. Hopefully, hopefully, if I can find all my links and whatnot again. <laughs> so we're doing pretty good. Uh, it's an interesting combination with the slow zombies making them half as fast as they usually are, uh, but tripling the amount of them. So it makes it so that we're a little bit safer out in the countryside, more, even more so than we would have been before. But trying to go into town can be quite dangerous. Well, then again, I'm not sure. This does seem like I was thinking it would be a little bit more dangerous. I've tried this once before and did die. But it seems like unless you get really careless, you can easily juke around the zombies and just dodge like even the toughest of zombies you can get around. I don't imagine you'd be looting anything, but you could get around them at least. But I, it, I guess it's kind of a, it's, it's a, you know, one way or another way kind of thing. It's like, yes, it's easy to get run around them and get away from them. But if I try and go in a building and it gets surrounded, there's a very good chance I'm not getting out because I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't have the power to kill them quick enough. Uh, at least at the moment, I would not. But anyway, it's up to you guys. Definitely tell me what you think about this challenge and so on and so forth. And uh, I'll see you guys next time with some more uh, Cataclysm Darkness Ahead. Peace out till now, everybody.